me i'm one of the content creators here at glamorous um so if you watch our videos you'll see me pretty often um and like i said my name is aisha and from our uh, title of this live show you'll probably see what we're going to talk about and it's a super super exciting topic that we get a lot of questions about um and it has so many things to cover that we thought it was really important to kind of go over it and explain it to you guys and answer any questions that you might have so today we're actually going to be talking about facial tools um as well as serums and facial oils um and i'm going to be explaining how to use them what the benefits are whether it's just a hype or a trend because it is something that's been trending for quite some time and a lot of people aren't sure whether it's just a trend or a hype or whatever so i'm going to tell you everything you need to know about all of this and hopefully it'll help you out and help you decide whether you want to get yourself a facial tool or any of the serums or anything like that um so before i start i also want to mention that we are having a giveaway in today's live so one lucky person is going to win a newly launched glamorous product which is dream skin um for all of you guys who don't know glamorous has recently launched uh, a range of skincare products and this little guy right here dream skin has been our most recent addition to our glamorous product family and what dream skin is is basically a super super lightweight facial oil it's great for pigmentation for dark spots for anti-aging for dry skin it's actually great for all skin types um and i'll tell you more about it later but one person is going to actually get dream skin for free and win our giveaway and to win what you guys need to do is in the comments let us know what dream skin means to you what is your idea of dreamy skin so i would love to hear all of your thoughts on that and um a, a little while into the live show i'm going to pick someone to win this uh so make sure to get your answers in the comments um okay so all of that being said i'm going to get right into it um so first i want to let you guys know what the benefits of facial massages are um because there are so many and like i said earlier a lot of people think that facial tools and facial massages i have with me a roller and a gua sha people think a lot of these are just a hype a uh, trend that's on at the moment these are actually both very ancient ways of like age old ways of skin care and like skin care steps that people used to include in their routines a uh, gua sha is actually an ancient chinese technique of skin firming and skin tightening so it's not a current trend it may be trending right now but it's definitely something that has worked for many many years and will probably continue to work long into the future um so that being said some of the benefits of facial massages are they're cooling because most of them are made of a uh, a type of crystal you can also get metal ones but the ones i'm talking about today are made of crystal so what i have is jade a uh, jade and rose quartz so the green ones you see are jade and the pink ones are rose quartz and because these stones have naturally like cooling properties they stay pretty cold um so when you use it on your skin you kind of feel that coolness and um that benefit of these facial rollers so that's one of the great like a really great benefit um it also reduces puffiness this is great for someone who finds they have a lot of water retention in their face what it does is it drains all the excess fluid under your skin through all of your lymph nodes again i'll explain all of this a little more um but it drains the excess fluid and helps to reduce any puffiness and water build up under your skin um it also adds an amazing glow it helps to um helps your products to absorb quickly as well it's very similar to a facial massage it basically is a facial massage when you think about it and when you use a facial tool after applying um 
any kind of serum or oil it helps your skin really just absorb all of it really really nicely so that's a great benefit as well and the other thing it does is over time it has anti-aging and skin firming benefits so what that means is it's going to prevent early signs of aging and wrinkles from showing up and it's going to just tighten all your skin so these are all great benefits who doesn't want all of these in their skincare and it is an extra step it is time consuming but it's super worth it which is why i wanted to show it to you guys today um okay so getting into these tools like i said we have um rollers and we have gua sha and these are kind of the traditional facial massagers i would say um there are a lot more like new age ones coming out that are made of metals um that have really funky shapes but these are the basic ones that you will find and um the difference between these two is that rollers are a little bit easier to use um they're pretty easy to understand how to use them the concept is pretty easy to grasp it's very user friendly um it does drain the fluid from your face it does have anti aging benefits over time um and some of them are also double sided like this one here you can see has a smaller end which is what i like to use around my under eye area i also have one this is kind of a new age um roller it's a vibrating one so it has a little knob here that you turn and it makes the roller actually vibrate so i don't know if you guys can see or even hear this but it gives you the added benefit of vibrating against your face as you roll it so it's kind of like a double motion which is even better for your skin so i thought this was super cool and definitely wanted to try it out um compared to that the gua sha are a little bit different they are a little more harder to understand how to use it can take some time to get used to them um and they're a little more about the ritual uh so you do want to take your time with these you want to kind of get into how they're supposed to use be used correctly and use them to sculpt your face that's actually a big difference um between these and facial rollers is that these gua sha help to shape and sculpt your face over time this is not going to happen overnight i want to let you guys know a uh, facial roller or gua sha is not going to suddenly change your skin magically overnight this is something that happens from years and months of use so if you do want to do this make sure that you're going to commit to it and you will definitely see a difference um the other thing about these is that like i said they're made out of crystals so These green ones are jade and then the pink ones are rose quartz. They do have other crystals as well, but these are kind of the ones that are most commonly found. Uh again, a lot of people ask us which they should use, whether they should use jade, whether they should use rose quartz. Um totally up to you. The couple of differences between the two, they're not very big. One is jade is a slightly softer stone, so it's a little more it it can wear out a little more easily it's over time you might see that um it does wear out and it also loses its cooling property a little bit quicker which means it warms up to your skin a lot faster when you're using it um the quartz stays colder for longer it's a little bit harder so you might find that the jade ones are a little cheaper than the rose quartz ones they do have some um crystal properties that also are are said to help your skin uh so you can look into those as well if you want to check them out but like i said ultimately it's completely your choice on what you choose it's not a big huge difference between the two of them so don't feel like you're making the wrong decision or agonize about, about which one to choose um there are a lot of questions coming in Uh I'm just going to scroll through. So I see people saying that there's a lot of fake crystals on the market. Um I've seen that as well. Um unfortunately personally there's no real way to check whether they're real or fake. What I would do is check that they're from a reputed company. Um maybe check with the company. They usually state uh whether it's they usually say if it's authentic crystal as well. Um 
and they also what i would say is these are not typically cheap so a big point in where you'll be able to see whether they're real or fake is the price if you're seeing these for 100 or 200 rupees they're probably not authentic but if you're looking for slightly cheaper ones you can go for the metal ones instead of the crystal ones they're just as good um you're still going to see a difference and the effects on your skin are still going to be there so um hopefully that helps you when you're choosing one um also what you can do is if you don't want to use either of these and you don't want to spend a bunch of money on them you can just go ahead and use a spoon as a facial massage tool we do have a video on this if you want to see it um let us know in the comments and we'll share it with you um but it's it's not something that needs to be done with an expensive tool it's basically the action of massaging your face and these tools make it a little bit easier so now i'm going to get into how exactly to use them i see a lot of people are putting in what dream skin means to them in the comments i'm really excited to see all of these responses i'll be picking one and announcing the winner for dream skin soon so make sure to keep putting them in and i'll get to that uh let's see what other questions were coming in i'm just going to scroll through uh so i see someone sanvi kulkarni had said has said frozen spoon video has helped me a lot so she's talking about the video that we put out about using a cold or frozen spoon as a facial massager so like i said if you want to see that you can let us know and we will definitely send it to you um it's a great substitute for any kind of facial tool uh let's see what else is coming in sanvi again has asked are the glamorous products available offline in shops or on the website only so right now they are available only on our website on glamorous.com um so you can check them out there and you can take a look at them we love our products i personally use pretty much all of them uh, most days so i would be really excited for you guys to try them as well um okay so i'm going to go ahead and now get into how to use these facial tools so the first thing is like i said they're pretty cooling already if you touch them they feel cold but if you want added cooling and added coldness you can um put them in your fridge store them in your fridge um for everyone asking what these are i just want to let you guys know this jade one is from a company called droman and co and then the vibrating rose quartz one is from le marbel um so you can check these out online if you're interested in either one of these um so yes these rollers like i said you can put it in the fridge to make them extra cold to have that kind of cooling ice therapy benefits um the biggest thing you want to remember with any of these tools is that you want to keep them clean if you use these over and over again it's just like using dirty makeup brushes you need to make sure that these are clean before and after your use um so the best way to clean them is to just kind of wash them with a damp towel like a little bit of soapy water on a damp towel you don't need to like rinse them you just kind of want to wipe them down so uh that will help you clean them up and make sure that they're not going to make you break out because if you use this on your skin and don't clean it it's just going to cause some acne and breakouts um so uh that is something that's really important to remember before you use these before you start even if you buy them and get them from a store make sure to clean them before starting to use them um the other thing is i use these as the last step of my skincare routine because it's going to help with all the product absorption you don't want to put on anything after this just put on your serum or oil use your facial tool and then leave your skin so i usually do this at night as the last step of my routine um and then the most important thing while using these is you want to lubricate your skin so that it doesn't tug so if you use a gua sha or a roller on dry skin it's going to kind of feel like it's getting stuck on your skin which eventually and over time and even if you don't if you do this um the wrong way can cause your capillaries to get damaged and will end up with kind of tiny red spots on your face 
so it's really really important that your face is moisturized and lubricated with uh, some kind of serum or oil before you use this or you will damage your skin so make sure that you're getting that step in if that's the one thing you take away from this today make sure that you use something on your skin before going in with these facial tools so i'm going to talk about a couple of serums that you can use uh to be honest i would suggest with a facial tool to go in with a nourishing serum and not something that's exfoliating or going to be a bit harsh on your skin because not only would it be harsh on your skin but it's also going to break down the crystal of your roller so i have um with me this one is an aha bha serum uh, which i use but i put this on earlier in my skincare routine not when i'm using my facial roller um and then i also have a uh, a retinol serum and a vitamin c serum so all three of these retinol vitamin c and aha bha are all going to work to kind of exfoliate and um work into the top layer of your skin and help to shed it faster so that the lower layers of your skin which are the brighter fresher layers can come up to the surface of your skin uh and make your skin look more glowy and fresh so um i would avoid using all three of these with a facial roller aha's and bha's are basically acids like glycolic acid uh bha's are salicylic acid uh vitamin c is ascorbic acid and then retinol can be pretty harsh for some skin types so be a little bit careful um that being said what you can use is more nourishing serum so i have one which is hyaluronic acid which is definitely something that's great hyaluronic acid is going to help your skin um absorb and retain moisture so that's a really good one and then you can also try a niacinamide serum and um the niacinamide is also very gentle it's a repairing serum so it's not going to be too harsh on your skin and it's not going to affect your roller either so those are all the serums that you could use but like i said earlier uh we have also launched dream skin and it's a facial oil so it's personally what i've been using with my facial rollers and facial tools um every night since way before we were able to officially launch this i was able to kind of get my hands on it and use it for some time and i have very oily skin i'm sure if you guys watch our lives you know this um i talk about it every live show i have super oily skin so i was a bit apprehensive to use a facial oil um but i'm going to show you guys on my hand and then also on my face how quickly it absorbs the reason i'm going to show you on my hand first is because this oil absorbs so quickly that when we put it on our face for shoots you can't even see it because that's how light it is so that's a a really important thing to know so i'm going to put some on my hand so you guys can see the texture of it it's super super light and it literally just gets absorbed in in 30 seconds so you guys can see it's already just like melting into my skin um it actually has really amazing ingredients which are for pigmentation and dark spots and um anti aging so what we have is our three hero ingredients our bakuchiol which is if you guys don't know this it's a natural retinol alternative so like i was saying you do you want to avoid a retinol serum because it can be a bit harsh um with a facial roller but this has bakuchiol in it which is a ret- like a ty- it it works the same way as retinol does um it also has saffron in it i'm sure you guys know about all the amazing properties of saffron it's a great antioxidant and it also has tamannu oil in it which is incredible for healing acne scars and dark spots and pigmentation so um if you're dealing with any of those skin issues if your skin needs a little extra moisture a little extra hydration if you need anti-aging uh, products then you should definitely try it out 
Um, I'm going to show you how I use it along with these rollers. It also, by the way, guys, smells amazing. Um, it smells like a really nice vanilla candle and it's a totally natural scent. There's no artificial fragrance in this at all. Um, so I love that about it. So, okay, I'm going to go ahead and show you exactly how to use this in a second. But now that you know all about Dream Skin, I'm first going to announce our giveaway winner. So I'm going to scroll through and see what a few people have said about Dream Skin. And then I'm going to pick one to sh just announce the winner. Um, okay, so someone from Crafty Unicorn has said, Dream Skin for me is clear and hydrated skin. I ordered all your products and like them very much. I recommend them to my family and friends too. That is so, so sweet. Thank you so much. That means a lot. Uh, and I'm really excited to know that you've used our products and you really do like them. Um, okay, we have another comment from Nikki Nick who says, can we use Dream Skin to get rid of fine lines from the skin? Yes, so Dream Skin is an anti-aging facial oil. So um, it's definitely something you can try out and it'll help slowly prevent those early signs of aging and reduce fine lines and wrinkles as well. Um, let's see what else is coming in. I see there's so many comments. So many people have shared what dream skin means to them. Um, so Nehu has said dream skin is just provide a glow from within. That's a really great answer as well. Um, there's another comment from Alfia Fatima who said, does dream skin make skin shinier when applied on combination skin? So that's a really great question. Um, dream skin can be used by all skin types. Um, even though it is a facial oil, it's very light. Like I said, I use it for oily skin and I use it at night. Um, so along with using it for my facial rollers, I also apply it on my lips as like a little bit of a hydrating lip oil. So I usually just take whatever extra is there on the dropper and kind of pat it into my lips uh it i think i don't know uh it, it does have brightening ingredients and depigmenting ingredients so it is helping my lips kind of get nourished and brighter over time um and i also use this in my foundation so when i'm applying foundation i'll put just a drop in my foundation it glides on super super smoothly um so, like I said, you can use this for all skin types. I would suggest though, if you have super acne prone or sensitive skin, just like you would with any other product, is to make sure you do a patch test first. Um, okay, so let's see if there's any other comments coming in. So, Meena Chandran has said, Dream skin to me is to have healthy glow without hyperpigmentation and without acne spots and it should hydrate my skin. Uh, Shilpa has said dream skin to me is that um, smooth clear and glowy skin without any pigmentation and acne and I hope dream skin will help me so that I can recommend it to others. So I see a lot of people to a lot of people dream skin basically means skin without any pigmentation um, and without any um, spots and dark spots or acne and we totally get that. Um, okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and pick one winner. Um, I do want to mention the winner does have to be in India. We're not currently shipping our products internationally. So um, if you're not in India, please let us know because we'll have to choose another winner. Um, and uh, if you do win, make sure to please send us your details on live at glamorous.com so that we can send you the dream skin send us your name number email and your postal address as well okay so i'm just gonna scroll through and pick someone guys don't get mad at me if i don't pick you this is totally random i'm just gonna pick someone okay so indraja vinod has said my dream skin is not having a fair tone but a healthy hydrated skin that's so smooth like when looking into the mirror i should get a blush seeing myself like a blooming flower that is so so sweet i love that you've mentioned that it's not about having light or fair skin um i think that's super important um a lot of people especially in india we have so much of a skin tone stigma and people constantly 
tell other people that their skin is too dark or you're not beautiful if you have dark skin that's not true which is why fairness really has nothing to do with it and it's about the texture and look of your skin so i'm gonna choose uh this indraja vinod as a dream skin winner so uh indraja congratulations you have won a bottle of dream skin please make sure to send your your name number and postal address to us on live at glamorous.com so we can send you the bottle of dream skin and we hope that it does give you dream skin okay so now that i've announced the winner i'm actually going to show you how to use it with my facial roller and with the gua sha as well so what i'm going to do is take a couple drops of this and apply it onto my skin let's see i'm just going to take a few drops you guys can see three drops i don't really need more than that and kind of massage it in my skin and then apply it all over my face just like this so you guys can already see that it is making a difference to my skin so you can see like definitely there's a little bit more of a glow um and that my skin looks moisturized and so i'm going to go ahead with this roller and show you exactly how to use it um so what you want to do first is start at the bottom of your neck and go upwards so what you want to remember is you always want to go upwards and outwards so keep that in mind no matter what you do so like i said you want to start at your neck and go upwards and then outwards and then you can move to your chin and your jawline again going upwards and outwards towards your ear like this you don't want to press too hard you want to be pretty gentle you don't need to put a lot of pressure on this at all um you just need to run it across your skin don't feel like you need to press into it so i've done my jawline now i'm moving up you want to move towards your ear because you actually have lymph nodes over here so when you push this way it's going to drain all of that fluid and push it out of your skin so that your skin looks a lot firmer um a lot more young a lot more glowy same on this side and like i said you want to just remember to keep going upwards and outwards so once once i get up to here to my under eye area um what i do is swap over to this side and then use it for my under eyes um and again you want to just keep going upwards and outwards like this you can even start up on your nose and roll all the way out whatever feels more comfortable to you so it's also really really soothing it's a super calming experience i love doing this at the end of the day because it's like the best way to end my day and to kind of shut down my mind and get ready for going to bed Once you're done with your under eyes, you can even do it above your eyes in your eyebrows. Again, moving, following the shape. You want to go this way, upwards and outwards, like this. And then finally, onto your forehead, where again you can keep going upwards and outwards. So I don't know if you guys can see this, but my skin is literally glowing right now, and it's not oily at all. It's genuinely just like an amazing glow that's super nourishing uh my skin doesn't feel sticky or oily it just feels super super baby soft and smooth so that's how you use a facial roller and then if you have a gua sha you can use it in a similar way so what i like to do is take this longer end and use it upwards on my neck Um I see there's a comment from someone anonymous who said I use rollers while watching dramas get everything done together. I absolutely agree that's actually what I do as well. I sit in bed with all my skincare around me and I use my tools and apply my serums um and just keep going with my routine and it gets done super quick when you're not thinking about it. 
So, okay, like I said, with the gua sha, you want to do the same thing where you're moving upwards. Just like the roller, you don't want to press into your skin too much. So then you can move up here. What you can do is you can use this little uh, bump for your chin and your jawline. So you'll actually hold it in the bump and then move upwards. So when I said gua sha help with sculpting, um, it really is true because what this is doing is perfectly sculpting your face. So over time, you should really see a difference. So I'm going to push upwards here. Then you can switch over to this rounded edge and use that for your cheeks and your cheekbones. And you want to be really like slow and have a lot of purpose with these movements. I would suggest not rushing it because the point of this process is to take your time and to really like give your skin a break and the love that it needs to recover. So it really, it really does make a difference. Um, one, in one of my videos, I actually did the facial roller and gua sha only on one side of my face. And it literally looked like one side was more lifted than the other, which I thought was incredible, even after just one use. So imagine what it can do after years of using it. So you guys can see that my skin is starting to get like a natural highlight over here. Then I swap over to this edge and I use it for my under eyes, just like this. So you can take your time and just go upwards like this. You can also use this bump for your nose as well. Move upwards like that on the bridge of your nose and then finally move up to your forehead and again go upwards and upwards. Like that, like that. So you can do this for a few minutes um, I would say take a minimum of three minutes to kind of go through this ritual um, and then up to five or ten minutes depending on how much time you have. But um, the light is kind of going outside because the sun is setting but I hope you guys can see that it literally has made my skin glow. Like look at this right here and here. It looks like I have makeup or highlighter on which I didn't. I purposely didn't put on any makeup because I knew I'd be doing this and I didn't want it to melt off my face. But it's such a relaxing, like incredible experience for your skin that everyone should give it a try. Um, so hopefully all of this helped you guys understand how to use it and how to do it correctly, what to use it with. Hopefully I answered a lot of your questions about dream skin as well. Um, I know we only had one winner today in our live, um, but we have another super exciting offer for you guys, for everyone who didn't win. If you go to glamorous.com to our website and sign up with your email address, you will actually get 20% off on dream skin. So if you want dream skin, definitely do that right after this live show. Go ahead sign up on glamorous.com, register, put in your email, and then you will be able to get 20% off on this amazing dream in a bottle. And maybe you can use it along with your facial tools when you're sitting in bed watching TV. Um, so make sure you do that. Uh, dream skin is currently priced at $8.99. But if you go ahead with those steps, you will obviously get 20% off which is a really, really nice discount for a product that's so amazing. So with all of that being said, um, I think we're coming to the end of today's show. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys got to like relax and take a break from your day with me while I was using my facial tools and it helps you understand how to use them as well. Um, and let us know what other type of live shows or what other topics you want us to cover in the comments below and I'll make sure to cover them next time. So until then, uh, stay tuned and stay glamorous.